let's take a look at a couple of examples from section 3.3, uh, starting with exercise 19. Uh, this problem gives us a statement uh, and says rewrite the statement in English without using the symbols, the quantifier symbols, or variables and express your answer as simply as possible. Write a negation for the statement. Okay, so we've got a statement with multiple quantifiers and let's read through it and talk about what that means. It says there exists x in the positive real numbers such that for all y in the positive real numbers x is less than or equal to y. Okay, so what that's saying is that there is a positive real number that's less than or equal to every positive real number. Okay, so that's how we can state that um, in English without using the quantifier symbols, without using variables, there is a positive real number which is less than or equal to every positive real number. Um, you could also simplify that even further um, and just say there is a smallest positive real number and or a least positive real number. Um, and I would consider that to be an acceptable way to, to say the same thing. Um, this problem also asks for a negation of that. Now, when you write a negation for a quantified statement, you remember that reverses the quantifier from there exists to for all or vice versa. Now, when there's multiple quantifiers, we're going to end up reversing both of those. And we also always negate the predicate. So the negation would say for all positive real numbers, there is a positive real number such that x is greater than y. Um, so in other words, that's saying that for any positive real number you pick, you can always find one that's smaller than the one that you picked. Okay, so that makes sense as a negation because remember we said the other one was saying that there's a smallest positive real number. And so the negation is saying, no, anytime you take a positive real number, you can find one that's smaller. Okay. Um, so that's exercise 19. Exercise 38 asks us to do something similar, although this one time we start with an informal statement. The informal statement they give us is every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Okay, so this can be written with um, both quantifiers in the following way. We can say for all actions A, there exists a reaction R, such that R is equal and opposite to A. And that's just one way of doing it. Um, you know, you could certainly come up with other reasonable ways of, of doing this, but having those quantifiers in that order uh, is consistent with what the original statement is there. Okay. Um, you know, so that for any action that you take, there exists an equal and opposite reaction. Um, okay, so they also ask for a negation. So just like the previous example we were looking at, we're going to switch both our quantifiers. And we're also going to negate the predicate portion of the statement. So that would say there exists an action A such that for all reactions R, R is not equal and opposite to A. Okay, so that's uh, along the lines of what they're looking for. For any of these things, as, as we've you know seen in this course, there are going to be multiple correct ways of expressing something. Um, but we have to be careful because there's you know, certainly plenty of incorrect ways of expressing uh, these things as well. So um, I hope you found these two examples helpful. I'll see you in the next video.